Lover's Lane United Methodist Church in Dallas, Texas, is blessed to have three beautiful pipe organs, each a valuable asset for the church and in the community. The Aeolian Skinner and Schantz instruments in the sanctuary, and most recently in 2012, a Cassavant pipe organ in Ship Chapel. Hello, I'm Dr. Cheryl Sebo, organist and associate director of music at Lover's Lane United Methodist Church. To help celebrate our church's renovation of both sanctuary pipe organ consoles and electronics, I want to share with you a bit of their intriguing world with a behind the scenes look into what makes them work. We are indebted to our senior pastor, Dr. Stan Copeland, director of music, Jimmy Emery, and to the many donors who have funded this renovation. From where the organ's wind power initiates sound, to the keys that convey commands to affect sound, from the tiniest whispering pipes to the largest thundering reeds, the organ brings order out of chaos, eloquence out of uproar, music out of noise. Commanding or unassuming, vigorous or delicate, organ music is capable of affecting the listener on many levels. In a way, the pipe organ is like an organism with an intricate system of interconnecting parts and a wind-breathing machine, all integrated into a complex instrument. Its purpose, to enrich the worship experience and the lives of each listener. As we look into this magnificent king of instruments, as it is often described, I will include a bit of history on the organ and the companies responsible for our Lover's Lane United Methodist Church instruments. This video features the original Aeolian Skinner pipe organ, Opus 1361. Our Opus 1361 organ was installed in 1960 in the original sanctuary on Lover's Lane. The highly respected Aeolian Skinner Organ Company of Boston, Massachusetts, active from 1901 until 1972, was a wise choice for the church's first pipe organ. Joseph Whiteford, president of the firm from 1956 until 1966, was a primary influence in the organ's tonal sound. Roy Perry was a major consultant on the design, and Nora and Jim Williams were responsible for its installation. But just a few years later, in 1971, the church moved to its new location at Inwood Lane and Northwest Highway. The organ was placed in storage until the new sanctuary was built in 1978, at which time it was placed on a movable lift in its present location and electrically connected to the sanctuary's Schantz pipe organ in the rear gallery. Austin Lovelace, director of music from 1970 until 1977, guided the musical details for the new sanctuary including purchase of the new Schantz organ and relocation of the Aeolian Skinner instrument to its new home in the front of the sanctuary. Charles Merritt was director of music at that time during the installation of the Schantz and the electrical connection of both instruments. An organ sound begins with the blower room located in the basement where powerful fans or blowers run by electricity supply the wind that allows the pipes to sound up above. The wind travels through long tubes or ducts up two levels to rectangular wooden wind chests in the organ chambers, on which sit the 1967 pipes that this organ contains behind grillwork on both sides above the chancel area. Next to the blower room is an area behind the wall where the organ is lowered on an electronic lift to be stored when not in use. This Aeolian Skinner organ built for Lover's Lane UMC has three keyboards called manuals played by the hands and pedal played with the feet comprising four different divisions divisions being groups of pipes separated into different chambers of several different types of sounds. Located in the front chancel of the sanctuary, the organ contains 30 voices on 33 ranks, a rank being one set of pipes 
with the same type of sound. Draw knobs called stops for each rank on either side of the keyboards can be pulled out to bring on a selected pipe sound, then push back in to have that pipe sound stop speaking. The swell is the top keyboard, the grate is in the middle, and the choir is the bottom keyboard. On the Lover's Lane UMC organs, there are 61 keys on each keyboard and 32 notes on the pedals. This number of keys and pedals is fairly standard, although some instruments vary slightly. All three organs are electro-pneumatic systems with Pitman wind chests, which is a highly developed process of rapid, almost simultaneous steps where valves operate small pneumatic motors, gradually letting air into the hole under the pipe and allowing it to sound. The many small numbered buttons seen on the console under each keyboard and toe studs right above the pedals are pistons that can be set to bring on any number of pre-chosen types of pipes, either locally on individual manuals or general pistons that can operate all of the divisions simultaneously. In the north front chamber above floor level, where the choir division is housed, the chimes are mounted by the wall near the ceiling. The chimes and pipes gradually increase lengths to sound from lower pitches to shorter pipes producing higher pitches. The diapasons, often called principles, as they are the most foundational sounds, are made of zinc, or often an alloy of tin and lead. The more delicate flute pipes are constructed of wood, often pine or metal. Several different types of reed pipes are made of metal alloy or occasionally copper, as with our trumpet on shamad in the center of the Chant's organ facade. The swell division, one of the three different groups of pipes, is located in the north rear chamber with seven different ranks of pipes. The swell and choir each have a different quality of sound with multiple musical purposes, used for softer dynamic contrast, for bringing out melodies by combining different types of sound qualities or timbres, and for accompanying soloists or choral anthems. The swell and choir are both enclosed divisions, meaning that they have vertical shades like Venetian blinds, which can be opened and closed gradually by the player's feet, pushing an expression pedal forward or backward on the organ console. This allows the organist to create softer or louder expressive musical effects. Swell pipe sounds include a string and celeste, flute, called a gedect, a principal four-foot, which sounds an octave higher than the principal eight-foot pipe ranks, a mixture with several differently pitched pipes sounding together when one key is pressed, a trumpet eight-foot, a clarion reed sounding an octave higher at four-foot pitch, and a 16-foot oboe, which sounds an octave below the eight-foot reed. The choir contains flutes eight foot and four foot, so two different octaves of flute sounds possible at once, a quiet string and three higher pitched short pipe sounds, a two foot principal adding a sparkling bright quality. In the south chamber, which is one combined space above floor level, are placed both the grate and pedal divisions. The grate is the strongest, most fundamental group of pipes on the keyboards. The pedal division is played by the feet on the pedal keys at the floor level under the keyboards. They have no expression shades, but are meant to be heard with unaltered full volume power. The grate division, often combined with swell and choir pipes, is used for congregational hymns, preludes and postludes, so includes a principal eight foot, four foot, and two foot, a mixture, and a lower 16 foot sound with taller pipes. The swell and choir divisions of pipes can be added onto the grate, pedal, or with each other by using couplers. 
Couplers combine one division's chosen pipes with another keyboard's chosen one or more ranks of pipes by intricate electrical connections. The organ plays with full power, especially when reeds, including trumpet, clairon, and oboe, are added. The tallest pipe in the Aeolian Skinner pedal division is 16 feet tall, and the tiniest pipes found in the choir and grate are less than an inch tall. This organ with its combined spectrum of musical sounds adds an exciting presence of glory in the beautiful, iconic stained glass sanctuary. Underlying this organ video is a loving salute to the talented musicians who through the years have proclaimed God's power and glory with great devotion and talent, helping shape our music ministry on a global level. As we offer thanks to the host of Lover's Lane UMC's dedicated music leaders and organists whose legacy has provided exceptional musicianship, one in particular stands out. Clarice Candamio, the longest serving organist at Lover's Lane United Methodist Church. Her 45 years of leadership from 1968 until 2013 inspired scores of organists, instrumentalists, and vocalists through her dedicated musical excellence in worship to the glory of God. Along with the recent renovation of a beautiful new finish and improved components inside and out by the Richard Houghton Technical Consultation Incorporated of Michigan, both the Aeolian Skinner and Schantz pipe organs will each have a portal system on an iPad, able to reflect or change choices of pipes together, an arrangement of those pistons, or even of the keyboards. The addition of a MIDI interface provides several functions, including a transposing tool to change the written key to sound at a different level, and an audio recorder to capture a performance for playback. The world of a pipe organ is indeed fascinating and complex. We are blessed to be able to share our pipe organs through worship, concerts, and other events within the church, in the community, and around the world. Both of our sanctuary organs will be ready to make their mark in new ways with improved reliability of touch, action, and sound. It is our hope and prayer that Lover's Lane United Methodist Church's pipe organs will be valuable assets in helping usher our music ministry into a dynamic and glorious future as we continue to follow the church's vision of loving all. Music